everybody. All right, good evening. I'm uh, Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri, and I'm here with Pinellas Park Police Chief uh, Mike Hayworth. And the information I'm going to give you is very preliminary information. Uh, this is a, a very fluid and unfolding investigation. So everything that I'm telling you is the best that we know it right now, but it is, of course, subject to change as we conduct the investigation uh, throughout the night tonight and, and in the upcoming days. So what we do know is at about uh, 9.50 p.m. Uh, this evening, the Pinellas Park Police Department responded to a call uh, by a woman regarding a domestic incident at the Shell gas station behind me here on the uh, southwest corner of Almerton Road and 49th Street. Uh, the woman said that uh, her boyfriend uh, had threatened her. It was called in as a domestic battery. And the boyfriend that she was calling about is a person by the name of Brockington Sinclair. He's a black male. Date of birth is March 4th, uh, 1998. Uh, she had locked herself in the bathroom uh, inside the gas station was concerned about him. Pinellas Park police officers uh, arrived on the scene. The first officer who arrived on the scene was Officer Jacob Durr. Uh, he had information, again, regarding the domestic uh, that Sinclair was anti-law enforcement. He was somebody who possibly had a warrant out for his arrest, and that's what he knew going into this. Uh, when he pulled in, uh, he saw uh, a vehicle uh, that was matching, generally matching the description of the complainant's vehicle in, in the parking lot and saw Sinclair, uh, who was also in the parking lot at that time. As Sinclair uh, came out of the vehicle, began walking toward the Shell gas station, he took out a firearm and shot uh, Officer Durr. Officer Durr was struck in the uh, right bicep area. It shattered the bone in his arm and he was uh, incapacitated, disabled at that point. Uh, he was shot in the right arm, he's right-handed, he couldn't take his gun out and couldn't return fire. About that same time, a second officer uh, arrived on the scene and her name is KC, initials KC Gavin. Officer Gavin arrived and she confronted Sinclair. Uh, Sinclair uh, fired at her. She returned fire, uh, did not strike Sinclair. Um, and he, at that point, uh, saw another car that was in the parking lot uh, for a customer that was pumping gas and at gunpoint he forced that person to turn over their keys and he carjacked that car. Um, he then got in the car and drove it at Officer Gavin, uh, he missed her, uh, went out to Almerton Road, went westbound on uh, Almerton Road in the eastbound lanes. Uh, there were some deputy sheriffs that were out there on Almerton uh, that saw him at that point. He turned around, went eastbound, and he got up on Interstate 275. Uh, at that point, uh, our helicopter was up. We had a canine deputy was in the area. Other law enforcement officers were in the area. Uh, followed him uh, until he exited the interstate. He got down into the area in St. Petersburg uh, in the area of 928 22nd Avenue South. At that point, uh, deputies uh, rammed his car, disabled him, and were able to take him into custody. Uh, so that's the synopsis uh, and generally what happened. Again, this is uh, an unfolding investigation. Uh, I don't really have much more information as far as Sinclair is concerned. He is in custody, uh, facing multiple charges, including at least two counts of attempted murder on a police officer, along with multiple other felonies. Um, Officer Durr is in stable condition. He's at the hospital. Um, I'll let Chief Hayworth talk about that a little bit as far as uh, the officer and his condition. Um, but again, I just really don't have anything more to share with you other than that at this point. That's what we know. Uh, and again, we'll uh, update this as the investigation unfolds in the next couple of days. Uh, I want to let Chief Hayworth address you with whatever he wants to fill in. Now, again, I think many of you know by now, uh, a couple years ago we formed the Pinellas County Use of Force, uh, Deadly Force Task Force. That's why this investigation is being conducted by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office when it involved a Pinellas Park police officer who used the deadly force. The task force is made up of uh, officers from St. Petersburg, Clearwater, the Sheriff's Office, and Pinellas Park. Uh, but Pinellas Park will not be involved in the investigation because their officer is the one who was involved in the shooting and used the deadly force. So I'll turn it over to Chief Hayworth and then answer any questions that you have that I can't answer. Chief? Yep. Thank you, Sheriff. Uh, 
Officer Durr is uh, at the at the hospital. Uh, he's awaiting surgery, uh, and he will make a full recovery. How long has he been with your department, sir? So, once again, please. How long has he been with your department, sir? Uh, less than a year. Yes. Uh, any questions? Any, any qu the suspect's name, sir? Yeah, his name is Brockington, B-R-O-C-K-I-N-G-T-O-N, Brockington, and his last name is Sinclair, S-I-N-C-L-A-I-R. Again, he's a black male. Date of birth is March 4th, 1998. What's that? Anybody have anything else? I see some uh, sheriff's uh, units that have put damage on the tow trucks. Were they damaged during the, uh, the chase? As far as what now? Oh, were they damaged? I see some uh, sheriff's units damaged on these tow trucks. Yeah, so there was a uh, two, deputy, two deputies uh, did um, collide with each other, uh, and that accident happened at Fifth Avenue North and 49th Street as they were responding to the scene in St. Pete. So two deputies who were responding did get into an accident at that intersection. It wasn't here, and it wasn't at the scene where Sinclair was apprehended, but while they were en route, they collided. Any injuries? Minor injuries. And the address in, uh, where uh, he was taken into custody, 928 22nd Avenue South, is correct. That correct? Correct. Can you spell the officer's name for us? The officer's, uh, the officer's name is Jacob Durr, D-E-R-R. Yeah. All right, we'll update you as we get more information. Yeah. Right. Thanks, guys. Thanks.